This video will show you how a student can annotate a text directly within a Canvas assignment. You want to start by creating a new assignment, either from the assignments list or in the module that you're going to be working with. You want to give your assignment a name and type any instructions. For our purposes, I'm just calling it Annotations for Poetry, and I'm going to just put generically, include your instructions for annotations here. You'll scroll down a little bit, make sure you select the correct assignment group if you want it daily work major assignment. And in submission types, you'll notice that there is a choice called student annotation. Mine was checked off because I've been playing with this feature, but yours will probably not be checked off the first time. Check off student annotation, and then you're gonna select the file that you want students to annotate on. Now, if you've already uploaded the PDF of your story to the files, you can go ahead and click on Course Files, or you can use the Upload File button to upload your story here. So I've already uploaded mine to Course Files, so I'm going to select that and select the PDF of the story I want them to annotate. I'm also going to keep File Uploads checked off as a submission type in case I do have any students who download the file to their iPad and annotate using a different tool. I want them to have the option to be able to upload their annotations if needed. Once you've done that, you can just make any other changes you need to and then go ahead and save and publish it for your students. Now let's flip over and I'll show you what this looks like on the student side. When the student goes into the assignment, they're going to see a preview of that document that you uploaded, the PDF. And you'll see, they can see the, the PDF there, and then up in the gray toolbar, they have some menu choices. They can zoom in and out or make it full screen. They can even download it to their iPad to annotate. But what I want you to notice are these tools over here on the far right. Those are the annotation tools, and they can interact directly with the PDF using those tools. And they work much like annotation tools in other programs. The text box allows students to type a text box anywhere on the document. And if the student types something they want to change, they can delete it. They can use the highlighting tool to highlight specific words or entire parts of texts. In this case, I'm just going to click on a couple different colors to make some highlights on the page for you. The students can also use the pinpoint feature to make marked notes at very specific places in the text. There's even a drawing tool that allows students to select colors and line widths to make drawings on their page. And it's a little tricky to work with, but the important thing for students to know with the drawing tool is you'll see there's a little checkbox after you make each drawing. And if you want to keep the drawing, you have to click that little checkbox for the drawing to stay. The strikeout tool allows students to select text to draw a line through. This could be great for revising and editing if you were trying to uh, practice taking out extraneous words, for example. So once a student has completed all of your annotation instructions, they click the blue Submit Assignment button, and then you will see it in your Speed Grader in order to grade your student's work. And I'm going to show you what that looks like in Speed Grader. So I'm back in Teacher View, and if I go in Speed Grader, we can see the one submission that I had for the example we just did, and you can see how the annotations come across. So the notations that the student made would be out to the side, and as a teacher, you can use these annotation tools to comment back to your students. You can make comments in specific places on their text to leave feedback. You can even use all the same drawing tools that the students do, and don't forget after you leave your fabulous feedback to grade the assignment. Thanks so much for watching. Hope this helps you tremendously.